Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Behind me, a stove tap, and today we're going to do a couple different things. Number one, we are going to clean the filter for the fan motor. And by keeping that filter clean, it will allow us to supply proper ventilation to the actual fan motor to allow it to do its job. We just take all that steam and smoke from cooking and suck it through the filter and up through the duct and out of the house. The second thing we are going to do is remove the old incandescent bulbs and replace them with brand new LED bulbs that use a fraction of the energy. And number three, most people don't know what the actual fan motor looks like in your stove area, so I'm going to show you it. And just by coming up on the bottom side, you will see that is the actual filter housing and one light on the left hand side, one light on the right hand side. I'll turn this little switch as you can see here. And I want to show you how caked and clogged that filter is. We are going to remove that and clean it. In order to gain access to that filter, this little tab here, you want to shift it as well as this tab on the right hand side. And I recommend you use them both hands because once you release this, as you can see, this whole portion pops down, and then use your other hand to remove that. The filter cover is now removed, and it is down on the actual stove. And in order to remove this whole filter, you will have to remove these locking pins. And just by slowly and carefully shifting in out of that little groove, and do the exact same thing for this side. After removing the screen, I recommend keeping these little locking tabs in place so you don't get confused when it comes time to reinstall it. And what I'll do now is hold this up in the light and show you how clogged it really is. Pretty dirty. Very dirty, actually. Let's go ahead and clean this. I grabbed a cleaning pad, a rough side on one side, a smooth side on the other side, and I'm going to take a few minutes and scrub this screen. What? No! That little scrubber's not going to do a single thing. Pull out your power washer, or if you don't have one, go to your local car wash and blast that thing. Back at the house now with the clean filter and I have the cover plate positioned the exact same way when I took it off. And before I put in the filter, I took a few minutes and cleaned both sides of the actual cover plate because this was pretty dirty as well. So from here, let's shift these locking tabs to the side, position our actual filter in place and lock the filter in place with these tabs. Second thing I want to do is remove those old incandescent bulbs and you'll notice I have the light off and that's important because those old incandescent bulbs generate heat and if you're not careful you might get burned so before removing those old bulbs turn off the light switch and let those bulbs cool down for about 15 minutes and it's smart to take one of the old bulbs to your local store to make sure you get the proper LED replacement bulb. Anytime you remove the old bulb and replace it with the new I recommend using rubber gloves to alleviate putting a lot of fingerprints on them. Here is the replacement bulb. We went to our local Myers, and again, these are 40 watt replacement, which only uses four watts, and it still provides the exact same lumens, as well as great energy savings on the bottom left hand corner. Estimated energy cost 48 cents per year. That's incredible. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get these installed and start saving money. Here's a quick view of the comparison between the two light bulbs, LED on the left hand side and the old incandescent bulb on the right. Both LED bulbs are installed. Let's take a look. We chose the Soft White 2700 because we didn't want it super, super bright. And the third thing I want to talk about is that motor under here. That is your fan motor. And again, most people actually have never seen one of those. 
They just turn on the switch, hear it running, and watch the steam and smoke go into the vent and out. But that's what it looks like. But as you can see, it gathers dust over the months of use. So what we can do to prevent this fan motor from overheating, let's get all this dust out of the actual vent and clean this entire enclosure. What I'll do is grab a shop vacuum and spend a couple minutes and clean this. Just finished up the vacuuming with the shop vac and I focused a lot on the lower portion of the fan motor. There was a lot of dust and grease and who knows what else on this lower portion. And I vacuumed the entire enclosure as I mentioned earlier as well as got up in here and did my best to get these vents for the actual fan motor cleared out a bit. At this point all three things are accomplished. Number one, cleaning of the filter. Number two, changing to LED bulbs, and number three, cleaning the fan motor, as well as giving you a sneak peek at what it looks like. From here, let's go ahead and carefully reposition the cover plate back into place and secure it. Cover plate is secure, and as you can see, the lights look better, and the filter is far cleaner than it was. That's it, it wasn't that hard, I'm glad you watched. I hope the video helped. Do me a favor, right below this video, there's that thumbs up icon, click on that. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notifications because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and hang out with us as we upload videos. Thanks again.